On this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix damaged electrical box or J box like this. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Just a quick disclaimer, we are gonna be working with electrical components in today's episode. My electrical codes and your electrical codes might be different. So always make sure that you're always current and up to date with your current electrical codes and you have the proper permits. Turn off the power from your circuit breaker and if you're unsure and unconfident with working with any type of electrical, please hire a certified and qualified professional. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get into today's episode. So you have one of these electrical outlets on the outside, it looks like it's fine, but when you start plugging things in, let's say you plug in um, your lamp or whatnot, you try pulling it out and it starts to wiggle like this. Every time you insert this on and off, it just gets worse. Your issue with this is the J box that's inside. Let's go and take off this cover plate. Before you even start digging in and touching this outlet right here, I want you to go and turn off the power from your circuit breaker and I want you to use a voltage tester like this. So voltage testers are only good if you test it out on the live wire first to make sure that this is working. I'm gonna go insert it on the hot side of the outlet. And if it starts going off, then you know that this is still energized. Turn off the power from your circuit breaker. Here it's nice and secured but at the top it is flopping like this. So let's take off this outlet and see what's going on on the J box. So again, this is just a mock-up. That's why I don't have wires running through here. It's just for example and demonstrational purposes only. This right here is broken off or maybe it's just hanging on the thread and it just breaks off like that. Now this part of the J box or electrical box is the one that's holding the, it's the part that's gonna be holding the screws in place. After that, this pretty much just runs into half an inch of thread until it just goes pretty much to nothing where your screws will go out into. So once this is broken or done, you're probably gonna say this J box is useless. I'm, I'm gonna have to replace or take it off. But before you do that, let's explore some of your options. Let's go with option number one, which is the easiest out of all the options I'm gonna be giving you. So probably the easiest way to fix this if you can, and if you can reuse the piece that just broke off, is by applying super glue. Now there are many types of super glue in the market. One type that we can use is this Loctite super glue. There's also the Gorilla Glue or whatnot. And you can use that and you can go and apply it all the way around. If you can still manage to fit it through that broken tab, you can still have that restored. And if you wait a couple of minutes for it to dry, then it should be ready to go. The other products that I actually recommend, which will have a higher strength bond, will be using Bondo. Now this is the all purpose putty. You don't need much of this. This is pretty much a two part. So right when you mix it up and you place it right here, Trust me, it will be hard as a rock. So another product that you can use is the JB Weld Plastic Bonder as well. All you gotta do is apply it on the outside, stick it in there, and you should be ready to go. Both of these are great products, including this super glue. Again, all the products and materials that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. So what if the screw inside your J-Box is just way too big now because it's just been so overused? put in the screw right here and it's just loose and just wiggling inside there and it's not making any thread. My other option for you is to use a bigger type screw. Now you can either use one of these general purpose screws, the wood screw, this is about two inch, two inch and a half. I mean, you don't necessarily have to use this length, probably a two incher or one, uh, one and a half inch wood, uh, general purpose screw like this one, wood screw will pretty much work as well. Or you can go by using one of these drywall screws as well. Let's use this wood screw. And it works really, really well. And it will hold it in place. This will work with the drywall screw as well. And works perfectly fine. You're probably asking why these screws work and not the screws that come with the outlet. Look at the diameter of this, the one that comes um, standard with the outlet, it is way too skinny. So if you look at the other two, they are a lot thicker and they can make contact with the whole wall a lot better and will definitely thread right through really, really well. So the next option is what if this tab right here you tried fixing and it just doesn't work and it keeps breaking off? 
Well, you don't necessarily need to take out the box and replace it. The other product that you can use is this box doctor. All you need is one. There are 10 that comes in the package. If you want to try this product out, comment down below and I will pick a winner to have you and send you one of these to you actually have you try it out for yourself. Otherwise, I'll leave a link on the description down below so you can check out this product. This one, make sure that the name box doctor is at the top. And then this one is what's going to be on the inside of the box. You can choose from any one of these. So if you miss one and it doesn't fit directly in the middle, there are two sides as well that you can offset. So that screw will penetrate right through there. All you have to do is slide this on in between there and clip it right between the box, between the box and the drywall. So now you can insert that plug and when you take it out, there you go, nice and secure. And it just pops out just like that because it's pretty much just a clip. And you can reuse this anywhere in case you don't want to use this box anymore. The other product that I'm going to show you is pretty much quite similar to the box doctor. It's called G-Clip. It's very similar to the box doctor, but it's pretty much the same concept. But instead of having three optional holes offset, this one only has one. Find the center of the box and then just push that in. So now you can screw your outlet in and start screwing it in. Pull it out. Nice and secured. So just like the box doctor, make sure you comment down below if you found this one useful and I have, I'll pick one lucky winner for you to try this out. So again, if you're interested on this product, I'll leave the link on the description down below. So what if you tried everything and those options that I gave you just doesn't fit your needs? Well, the only option that we can go through is pretty much replacing the box itself. Now the stud that this is gonna be located, so it's gonna be there on the left or the right. Your job now is to figure out where that stud is. Now sometimes if you have a gap like this, you can see the stud right through the crack of which direction it is. If you don't see that and it's nicely tight and fitted onto the drywall, which is actually a great thing, whoever installed that, you're gonna have to use a stud finder. Now this is a Franklin stud finder. And if you go like this, you will see that the stud is on the right side. Once you find out where that's located, you're gonna use a handheld hacksaw or a, if you have a uh, oscillating tool or any type of mini reciprocating saw, you can use that as well. Use one of these. You can wedge this between the crack now and once you go through here, you're gonna feel a little metal nail. Now this thing is pretty much secured by two nails, one at the top, bottom, and then you're just gonna hack that nail out, top and bottom, and this should easily pop out. Once you get this J box taken out, you have two options now which J box you wanna use. Uh, what a lot of people use is this old work. Now this one is the single gang old work J box. These ha have these little clips right here, very easy to use. All you have to do is insert this through the box, like so, you're just gonna go and screw this. Screw this in. Okay, screw that in. Now this old work J box is only good for, in my opinion, for switches, because if you're using this with electrical outlets, this thing is not that strong in my honest opinion. And the longer, the, the more time you use this, especially if it's in a high traffic area where you're gonna be using this to plug in and out a lot of um, plugs, this will tend to get loose over time and it will not stay in place. So I highly suggest that you use this, this type of J-Box on switches. Now the one that I highly suggest that you use is this adjustable type old wear J-Box. Now it's pretty much the same as the other one, but instead of it having those two clips at the bottom, this one just straight screws onto the stud itself. I believe that this is a lot stronger because it actually makes contact directly to the stud. And all you have to do is screw this in. And you, again, that's why it's called adjustable. You can adjust it any way that you want. So friends, those are pretty much all the options and all the tips and tricks that I have when it comes to fixing broken J boxes. Let me know in the comment section down below which option that you like the most. And make sure that if you're interested in all the products that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the link on the description down below. 
Make sure you comment and subscribe because I'll be picking a winner on who gets those clips for you to try out. And once again, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next DIY how-to and product review video. I'll see you next time.